I've already shuffled and I pulled two oracle cards for your recent pass. There are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go through the present time. How they see you, the person you're dealing with, how you see them, and why it's all happening. So, Cancer. In the recent past, we have release. On the flip side of release, it reads let go. When we release our attachment to the outcome, we allow the power of grace to work its magic. And release is paired with keep an open mind. And it reads, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I'm picking up that in the recent past, you probably met someone interesting. And maybe they had, maybe you had good conversations with them. Maybe the chemistry was really great. But there were things about them that you just, you know, you just couldn't get with. Or her, you just... Maybe you just didn't like the way she dressed. But it, it could have been your soulmate. The connection was there, but you, you just you wasn't feeling. You, just, you weren't feeling them um, because of something. Maybe you didn't like the way they wore their hair. But that was probably your soulmate. That's what Keep an Open Mind is saying. And you needed to release the attachment to the outcome and allow the power of grace to work its magic so a lot of times when we have a closed mind or we're really judgmental we can miss out on a lot of good things so that's probably what happened to you in the recent past cancer um, you probably met your soulmate and they just they didn't fit the bill for you and um, you were just attached to a certain type of person that you wanted to invite into your life but you should have kept an open mind because it probably would have been a, a really great relationship that's what these two cards are saying now let's move on down Let's take a look at the present time. We have the Six of Swords, and then we have Five of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords is about travel of any sort. It could mean um, metaphorical movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Usually, it's a change for the better, whether it's internal or external. You have to think about where you want to be. There's a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they are going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So, take this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Because even a short break or change of scenery is going to be helpful for you at this time. Keep in mind, this doesn't have to cost money. And when the Six of Swords talks about love and relationships, there's a need for a change of scenery. If you're in a relationship, take your your partner on a trip, even if it's just down the street for a picnic or something of that sort. If you're single cancers and you're looking for love, this kind of points to need to get out of your routine because your usual search needs to be switched up. Probably leaves little to be desired. And try to ex explore that way. Now, this Six of Swords is paired with the Five of Swords. Now, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings in the month of March. Maybe about life in general, or maybe a few people in particular. But you want to make sure you don't ignore these feelings. But, keep in mind, don't speak every word you're thinking and feeling either. Because you, you might just ruin the very things you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with friends and lovers. So make sure you think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. you got to pick your battles at this time. 
So when it comes to love and relationships, this five of swords, it's, it's about conflict. It's near. That's for sure. As you can see in the picture, this man has these uh, so two swords in his hand. And he's about to battle anything that comes toward him. Anything. He'll even walk on fire just to, just to go to battle. Just to go to war. So you're going to need to think calmly and carefully about your deal breakers possibly in a relationship be honest with yourself first then be honest with your person except in reality things may not work out as you would hoped or or wished for in a love relationship when you get this five of swords so for your present time, Six of Swords and Five of Swords, it's basically letting you know that uh, with the Six of Swords, there's a need for some type of transition. Maybe, um, maybe you're relocating. Maybe you're moving. It's a necessary transition at this time. It's going to bring about resolution, though, which is a good thing. And because it's with this Five of Swords, um, you got some mixed feelings about probably this transition. Mixed feelings, and it's causing maybe some conflict or anxiety. Um, But you want to make the situation right with this Five of Swords. But it could be a battle. Because you just, you got some, some strange feelings about something. And it could have something to do with some type of transition that you could be going through. And that's what we have for the present time. Now let's move on down. Let's take a look at the person you're dealing with, how they how they view you. They, they're viewing you as this Knight of Wands and Six of Cups. Now, the Knight of Wands, it's all about, well, it could be about um, traveling. As you can see, this man is, he's on some type of bird or eagle or whatever that is. And he's up in the sky. He's got his wand and he's... He's moving forward. So it's about some type of travel. If you can manage to get away. Uh, just, just to explain the Knight of Wands. Uh, you'll be feeling charged up. Full of energy. Feeling like you can get a lot of things done. Your self-confidence is increasing. And it, sh it should help reach towards your goals. Keep in mind that when you see the Knight. Well, actually, this Knight of Wands is about messages. And the messages are positive messages. It could be related to work, career. Projects are moving more successful than they have been in a while or than you expected or predicted. Uh, you probably have a lot of reasons to feel pride. So you need to savor it. When this Knight of Wands talks about love and relationships, if, um, well, well, with the Knight of Wands, when it speaks about love, you could meet someone through your work. This person is likely to have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. And if you're already committed in a relationship already, um, be sure your communication is as clear as can be. Make it a point to take time and just talk to each other. This is going to improve your feelings of closeness in a really big way. And this is how they see you. They see you as fearless, brave. With this Knight of Wands, it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, they see you wanting to be more successful in this connection than it has been. So they see you charging in and uh, with a lot of energy coming towards them to increase the closeness of this connection. 
They also see you as this Six of Cups. Now, Six of Cups, it, there's a need to refocus when you get the Six of Cups. Refocus towards the future. Talk about your dreams and goals, try new things. It's important not to stay stuck in the past. On occasions, this card can, it can signify the reappearance of an old lover in your life. So you need to think long and hard before restarting an old romance because exes are usually exes for a reason. And the Six of Cups, is that's how they're, they're seeing you also. Like I said, they see you fearless, brave, ready to um, move forward in a positive way in this connection. But they also see you as um, being nostalgic. And you're looking back on probably how the connection used to be when you first started. So they see you as needing to refocus this connection towards the future and stop being stuck on the past. Maybe some possible hurt from the past. Yeah, they wish you would come into the future. But they see you spending a lot of time possibly thinking about something about how things used to be so they want to bring you into the now into 2020 yeah or they think that you're just stuck to something that that you're familiar with so that's how they see you so let's move on down let's take a look at how you're viewing the person in this connection you view them as the king of swords and the knight of pentacles now the king of swords it's about a powerful forceful opinionated man that's in your life he will but not always have here on the darker end of the, of the spectrum also when you get this card you could be tempted to think only about how things affect you if this card does not represent an actual man in your life, you're going to need to consider the feelings of others before you act. Like I said, this King of Swords is about a very forceful energy. You may not be able to get this person to change his mind or to do what you want. You may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or expectations, but don't overextend your reach. So when this King of Swords talks about love and relationships, it's still about a strong, forceful, opinionated man that could be a part of your scenario. Now, if this man is your lover, your partner, it may mean that you're going to have to accept him as he is. It could mean that. And whether you are female or male, you'll best deal with this person by drawing on your feminine aspects of your nature but don't put up with being mistreated this man he can walk the line between being stereotypically manly and overstepping his bounds so sometimes you might have to protect yourself so this king of swords is how you see the person that you're dealing with person that you're um, this is how you're seeing your person um, they use their head over heart they could be forceful at times um, they're probably very opinionated arrogant maybe aggressive and they um, tend to overstep their bounds in this connection. And they also, well, you also see them as the Knight of Pentacles. Now, it points to responsibility, this Knight of Pentacles, and the duty that's part of any relationship. We all know love is not wine and roses. True love is a willingness to work together to get through any rough spots and to work on the relationship. And the Knight of Pentacles is about messages. 
it could be about money and finances and the, it's going to be um news that you've been waiting on good news with the knight of pentacles really good news it's also about paying attention to the mundane normal things in your life and taking care of the little things just as much as the big things so that explains the knight of pentacles a little bit and that's basically how you see them you see them as this forceful, probably cold type of person. They can be that way in this connection. And because with the Knight of Pentacles, um, there's still a willingness to work on this connection. To get through any difficulties. And uh, you see them as that, as doing that. And... You see them as as taking care of the of the relationship, or they're taking care of you. Yeah, so you see them as wanting to take care of you. So even though they're head over heart and they're probably cold a lot of times, but you see them as handling their affairs. They take care of business. Um, so they're, they're taking care of things that need to be taken care of in the, in the connection, in the relationship, but they just got this forceful type of energy that they bring. So you could feel like they're really cold a lot of times, but they, they have a willingness to work on this and that's how you see them. So let's move on down and let's take a look at why it's all happening. It's due to the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Wands, you could find that like in any sort of competition that you come out on top. Things should be going well, you should be feeling good, and projects should be moving right along. That's what the Seven of Wands is about. Also, you could have some regular moments of self-doubt. But now is the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people when you get the Seven of Wands. Because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This current of points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. Now, if you're already in a committed relationship... With the Seven of Wands, don't hesitate to speak your mind. Like I said to your lover, this will improve your relationship. As long as you're being considerate of the way in which you speak your mind. If you're single, Cancers, and you get the Seven of Wands, just to let you know, this card indicates that you're about to meet someone new. Away from your usual search. So try to switch things up. Try something new. Now, this is why it's all happening. Uh, it's all happening because uh, someone wants to come out on top. Someone really wants to win this connection. It could be you, Cancer, or it could be the person you're dealing with, or it could be the both of you. So someone's sticking to it because they want to win. Yep, there may be moments of self-doubt in this connection, but overall, the, the relationship, the connection is, is, is pretty good. Uh, things are moving along. Uh, the communication is probably something that needs to be worked on, but um, basically, someone or the both of you want to come out on top. And it's, it's with this Queen of Pentacles now. The Queen of Pentacles, it's about strategy. Particularly, particularly for those who are not currently involved with anyone. A strategy is to find love. But it's a stereotypical feminine type of strategy. It's about not chasing it, making yourself available. 
um, not being desperate to bring someone into your romantic life. Because when the time is right, that will be absolutely made clear to you and you will not have to do backflips to make something come about. So be upbeat and just know that you have many things to offer. So it's happening because like I said, uh, someone or both of you wants to keep this connection going and come out on top with the seven of wands. But then we have this Queen of Pentacles. Um, someone is possibly um, planning, being strategic um, about keeping this connection going. So they want to win. They want to come out on top. And they're also planning to, to make it more comfortable. Getting this connection to be a place where it should be so they they want to accomplish this this connection and make it good for the both of you so that's a good thing for why it's all happening yeah seven of wands is good um, because someone wants to win for the both of you and uh, someone or the both of you wants to um, put in the, whatever type of strategy or planning um, just to get this connection to be at a more comfortable place. So that's not bad, Cancer. Once again, that's why it's all happening. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's going to be a link below of the extended of this reading. I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. If I don't get a chance to do an extended of this reading, there, there's always a link for personal readings below. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope 2020 is going well for you, and I hope February is a beautiful month for you. And also March. This is a March reading. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you have a great day.